live from Boucher Field as we have the Huston University Eagles men's lacrosse against Northern Vermont University of London. I'm Ryan Barnes alongside Sam Miller. And Sam, you wanna just one more time go through the starters for both teams? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so starting for the Northern Vermont University of London Hornets, we have Aiden Trapani, number three, Bodie English, number four, Isaac McCann, number 13, Elias Libby, number 17, Matthew McKeon, number 20, Colton LaDuke, number 25, Jack Cushman, number 30, Isaiah Terrell, number 31, Alex Reed, and number 35, Foster Smallman. And for the home of the University Eagles, we have number zero, Jacob La Rochelle. We have number four, Danny Carter. We got number seven, Tyler Friquet. Number nine, Gabe Cherry. We got number 13, Cohen Trinka. Number 16, Colton Gillen. Number 17, Max Sturm. Number 18, Daniel Weed. As well as Number 12, Sean Lynn. And so we got here, that's so we got here for this contest. As Danny Carter opened things off with the goal of that face off one by Laura Shell. Laura Shell will give it to line. Ball rolling and is picked up by Elias Libby. Huston with a very early one nothing lead, just seconds into this game, six seconds to be exact as the ball will reset behind the net as there's Sean Line coming around the left side of the net. Looking for a man, getting Carter behind the net. Carter back to line, line up top to McAllister. Got McAllister with 47 goals coming into this game, second in the conference so far. Callister over the line. And the pass to Max Sturm is no good, and the ball will go the other way. As Linden will take it the other way. Up top is Libby, who cannot control the pass and will pick it up. The inside pass in the direction of Foster Smallman is no good. And coming up the field is McAllister. He's got Eisenman who will give it inside. And that is Colton Gillian burying the shot to give the Eagles a 2-0 lead. Yeah, Ryan, I want to go back to that last play. There's a lot of good ball movement so far from the Eagles. Let's see. Pass across the middle to Gillian. Gillian swipes across the left, puts it right in for the Eagles, gives them an early 2 0 lead. Just a minute and 30, minute and 30 into this game, Huston already with a 2 0 lead over the Univers Northern Vermont University Linden Hornets as the faceoff still being fought for, ball still rolling. And will eventually find the stick of of Ben Wynn and it will be settled by Wynn as Jordan Steves will come on to the field alongside Bryce Deronda. Wynn over to Deronda. Behind the net, there's Carter. Carter over the line. And he'll find his way back on up top to Deronda. Drano working his way around to the middle. And the ball taken out of Steve's stick. As there's Libby coming across. And the rolling pass to Reed. And the ball finds itself in front of the net. There's Smallman picked up by Bodie English as he buries that one. English's 14th goal of the season. And that is coming just two minutes and 38 seconds into this game as not that long in, into this, we already have three goals. Yeah, just going back to that last play, Ryan. You see a little bit of a scrum for the ball right here. Then ends up into the stick of Bodie English. Then just swipes it right into the goal. And like you said, just puts us at three goals in this very early, early in this game. That face off 
still being fought for on the ground it is picked up. It's still being fought for. That one's picked up by Colton Gillian, who gives it up to Carter. Carter behind the net. And Bolt giving up to McAllister up top. He's going to work his way around. Take the shot, and he scores. Gunner McAllister. Not much time in between goals as McAllister buries that one. And very early, Hassan will take the 3-1 lead. Yep, just back to that last play. So We've grown so accustomed to seeing this over the course of Gunner McAllister's time here at Hassan. Just finds his way into the goal once again. And here we are now. Hassan with the lead, 3-1. as it's going to be Laura Shell winning the faceoff and running right through the defense, giving it to the line, and he shoots, and the ball or all out of bounds. Carter there to beat the Linden defenders to keep possession. Line around the net. He's going to work his way around the crease, and he shoots and scores. Sean Line gets on the, gets on the scoring sheet as he Barry's one to give the Eagles a four to one lead very early in this contest. Yeah, just a lot of fast paced action so far in this game. You see line coming across the coming across the back of the goal here. Just works his way around and rifles it in. And here we are, Hudson with a very early lead and pouring it on right now. And the face off. Is rolling out to the side. It's picked up by Eli Elias Libby. As he will give it to Bodie English, who has who scored the lone goal so far for the Hornets. He shoots, and that's high above the net, beating every defender is Alex Reed. Go back to your last point, Ryan. So faceoffs are going to be a very big piece of this game right now. Husson coming in. With 268 wins in a faceoff compared to Linden, who only had 68 faceoff wins in throughout their season. So it's going to be interesting to see how big of an impact that has in the game. As that's going to be Gus Eisenman serving one minute for a hold as the Hornets will look to convert on this man up opportunity. That's Terrell. We'll give it behind the net to Reed. Reed, the long pass up top. That's going to be Smallman. Smallman to Terrell, back to Reed. Reed finds English. English cutting into the middle. Turns the other way. Gets into the middle. The bounce shot. It is saved by Tranka and I think it went into his jersey. Got caught up in some pads there. Yeah, that was great defense right there from the Eagles. When English tried getting a move right there, but he was hounded by the Eagle defenders, which which are not making things easy for him right now. McAllister runs through the defense. The shot is saved. And Linden will look to go the other way with it as the pass is no good. McAllister will take it. The high shot. There is a flag down. As it's going to be a slash on number one, Aiden Chapani for the Hornets as Husson will now have a man up opportunity up three, just five minutes into this game. Yeah, pretty big piece right here for the Eagles. On the season right now, they have uh, man up goals. They have 23 on the season, so let's see what they can do here. Maybe add one more to that list. That's going to be line starting things off. He'll give it to McAllister up top to win around. To Deronda, he will give it to Carter. Carter back to Deronda. Up top to McAllister. He will rip one in and scores. Gunner McAllister adding one on. His second of the game as the Eagles lead 5-1. to one. Yeah, going back to that last play, Ryan, it just seems like the Eagles are just moving the ball with ease and they're getting whatever they want to go. You see, getting into McAllister, rifles it in for another goal, and the Eagles are putting on an offensive clinic to start this game. As it will be Lorschel and Libby in the 
in the circle. One by Lower Show. As he will cruise into the offensive zone. Giving it to Medor. He will give it to Steves, who will give it back to Medor. Medor to Carter. Carter over to Boynton. Matt Boynton over to Griffin Medor. And behind the net to Jordan Steves. Gives it up top to Carter. The low shot is no good. Rebound falls into the stick of Boynton. As the Eagles look to start over here. Boynton making his way. Gets into the middle. The shot is blocked. Picked up by Carter. As it will stay with Husson as Griffin Medora is there to claim possession. Medora to Boynton. Boynton. Works way around the net. There's Medor. Medor to Carter. Carter the shot and he scores. Danny Carter the sideways shot. Gets on the top of the net to give the Eagles a 6-1 to one lead. Going back to that last play, Ryan. Just seems like Danny Carter once again just keep making his impact feel known on the field. Just rifles it in for another goal. That makes 28 on the season for Carter coming into this contest. He's having himself a season. As the Eagles are up 6-1. to one. And the faceoff is won by the Eagles. There's Dan Weed. We'll give it back up to Laura Shell. Laura Shell to Carter. Carter finds Gunnar McAllister, who already has two goals on the season. Look for looking for number 50. Callister settling things. Durando coming into the game. McAllister to Boynton. Boynton around the net. Finds Carter. As he will give it back to Boynton. Who will start to circle around the other way. He cuts. Working the defender up top to Dan Weed, who buries the shot. Dan Weed scoring to give the Eagles a 7-1 to lead. Weed's first goal of the season, his second point as he joins the scorecard here. As not even halfway through this first quarter, Huston finds themselves up 7-1. to Going back to that last play, Ryan, got to feel good for Dan Weed. Just gets that goal in for the Eagles here on senior day. Got to feel good just getting his first goal of the season on what could be his last home game here for the Eagles. The faceoff foul called on Lower Shell. And the ball will go to the direction of the Hornets, who have not had that much possession time so far in this game. As Elias Libby will bring it into the zone. He's got Smallman. Smallman giving it to Reed. Reed worked behind the net. Gets pushed out of bounds, and that will go to the Eagles. Great defensive work by Eisenman and Tyler Paquette to push him out. And coming up is Ben Wynn. Find himself in the X position. Given over to Boynton. Boynton. Up to Medor. Medor up top. He'll give it back to Boynton. Matt Boynton working. He's up top. He's looking to take the shot in his wide. And there to claim possession is Medor. It looks like Stern tried to get him a little screen up there at the top and tried to get him an open shot, but a little too far over the net for the Eagles. 
And the turnover from Boynton will find the stick of a Hornet and the ground pass. Will find the stick of Medor as he will pick up that turnover. Cruising through the defense, loses the ball. That's Colton Gillian who will settle things now. Giving it to Sturm. Max Sturm cutting inside, loses the ball. It's picked up. And the shot from Boynton is no good as the ball will stay with the Eagles. Got to give credit right there to Libby for Linden to halt the offensive firestorm that is the Eagles so far. As there's a goal from Ben Wynn to give the Eagles a 8-1 to one lead. Yeah, so far the Eagles just making it look way too easy on offense. You see Wynn coming across the back of the goal, slips it right into the side, and the Eagles are just putting on a show right now on senior day. So far, two from Carter, two from McAllister, one from Wynn, Line, Gillian, and Weed. As Wynn adds his second there. And the ball is settled. There's Jordan Steves. And Lower Shell working into the zone. Lower Shell up top. He'll give it inside. Dan Weed with his second of the game. His second of the season as well. As the Eagles take a 9-1 to one lead. Yeah, you got to give credit to Lower Shell right there to just find a cutting weed coming across the middle. And he gets that one in for the Eagles. And once again, the Eagles are just making their presence feel known in this game. It really dictated the pace from the get-go. As 10 minutes into this contest, Linden will take a timeout. We will take it too. This is Husson Men's Lacrosse on the Husson Eagles Sports Network. If you want a place where you can be seen as an individual and know what you're doing and have a career to look forward to, this is your place. And we are back at Boucher Field as the Hudson Eagles lead the Northern Vermont University of London Hornets 9-1 to as the faceoff is being fought for. And it is won by Libby. Libby's pass in the direction of English is no good as the Eagles will take over. There's Gus Eisenman going to start things off. Looks like whenever the Hornets seem to have something going for them on the offensive side, they just seem to either turn it over or the Eagles defense is, the presence is just too much there and the Eagles have just really dictated the pace of this game so far. Is this a good tune-up? As this is their, as Huston's last game of the regular season, last one before the playoffs. 
Here's Deronda. Over to Carter. Carter behind the net is Boynton as he is unable to retrieve the pass and is still being fought for. Boynton will come away with it as he will give it to Walsh. Gives it back to Boynton. McAllister behind the net. He'll give it to Deronda, who takes a shot and he scores. Bryce Deronda joins the goal parade as Husson Eagles lead 10-1. to Yeah, going back to that last play, this uh, not only just scoring-wise, but just putting on a clinic with their passing. You see Deronda just gets that in for the Eagles, and once again, the Eagles are just asserting their dominance very early in this game. Bryce Deronda with the goal and assist so far. Gunn McAllister, two goals and now an assist. He's two for three in his shots so far. It almost seems like every shot McAllister takes goes in. His face off still being fought for. Still on the ground. There's a whistle and it will go in the direction of the Hornets. There's Elias Libby. He will give it back to Bodie English. English, closely guarded by Laura Shell. The bounce shot is saved. And coming up the field is Sean Line. Line's got Eisman on his right. He will give it to Carter. Carter. Boynton cannot re get that pass. As there's Trapani who will give it away behind the net. Eisenman behind the net. It will find the stick of Boynton. Boynton to line, line to Carter. Carter over to Medor. Medor looking to settle things as he gives it to Carter. He shoots and it is going wide. It will stay Eagles possession. as it will be Boynton who will give it to Line. Line back to Boynton behind the net. Now to Carter. Carter settling down behind the net. He will give it to Boynton back to Carter. Carter up to win. Win to Boynton to Carter now. Still behind the net. Looking for something as the Eagles. There's Boynton taking a shot. And it will stay with the Eagles. Looks as like the Hornets have kind of upped their defensive pressure a little bit. Making it a little bit harder for the Eagles to get to where they want to on offense. There's no shortage of shots here for the Eagles. 10-1, to 1, only the first quarter as cutting in. Was line as that shot is saved. And the Linden Hornets will look to go the other way with it. They got to give credit to the goalie there. I believe that was McGee in, in the goal with the quick reaction to just sort of halt this firestorm that has been the Eagles offense early on. As unable to retrieve the ball was Boynton and recovering will be Trapani. And the Hornets will look to go the other way. The pass from Reed will go right into the stick of line. He's working it in. The pass inside. High is the shot from Boynton. And the ball will go to the Hornets. Pass intercepted by Wynn. Wynn will give it to Gillian. Gillian to Steves, Steves. The ball works its way over to Line. Line will give it to Quinn Lucas as the ball finds itself back into the stick of line. Line to Gillian. And here's the line again. Up top to Lucas. He shoots. He scores. Quinn Lucas with his first goal of the season. First collegiate goal for Quinn Lucas 
as he puts the Eagles up 11 to one. Yeah, going back to that last play, it just seems like everybody's getting in on the fun here for the Eagles. You see the pass there from, I believe it was Lu from Line, and then gets it over to Lucas. And the Eagles, once again, just pouring it on here in this first quarter. As that faceoff is won by Lorschel. And it is picked up by Libby as the Hornets look to go the other way and start to get back into this contest. Ball is lost. Finds the stick of Dan Weed. Weed will give it to Steves. He will start to settle things as Sturm and Walsh will enter the game. Max Sturm giving it over to Medor. Medor on the right side. Working his way towards midfield. Here comes McAllister from the bench around the net. Is Steves. Steves over to McAllister. He's got space. He will choose to give it to Medor. He shoots. He scores. Griffin Medor with his first goal of this game. He's already got an assist. Medor with the sixth goal of the season. As it is 12 to 1 with less than a minute in this first quarter. Yeah. See, when you go back to that last play there, it just seems like, like we said earlier, everybody on Hudson's getting involved. Medor gets the pass, rifles it in from the left corner, and the Eagles are just putting on a show on offense. And that will do it for the first quarter. Husson leading Linden 12 to one. This is Husson Men's Lacrosse on the Husson Eagles first Sports quarter, Network. Husson makes it a priority of theirs to make sure each of their students are well-rounded and that we're prepared to go into the future. I mean, it's very rare to have a college that can emphasize the professor-student interaction and Husson hits it right on the head. Instead of just you know sitting in the classroom, it's a great way to get hands-on experience. I'm actually out here doing things and seeing how things work. After being here and meeting the people, I decided this is where I wanted to be, that there was no better option for me. As we're back here for the second quarter, both coaches electing to go with the running clock as the clock will only stop with timeouts as the faceoff. There is one by Jacob Lorschel and a dominant first quarter from Husson, 12 goals on 24 shots. As behind the net, that's Carter. He will give it to Steves. 
Steve's up to Deronda. Over to Boynton. Boynton gives it behind the net. That is Danny Carter. Carter to Boynton. Back to Carter. A little give and go action there as And they trade passes about six times there. And then, why not? There's a seventh and an eighth. And finally, back up top and in the middle of Deronda and Steves. The ball being fought for on the sideline. It will go back to the Eagles. A little miscommunication as the pass was missed, but the Eagles were able to keep possession. Is Deronda. It's a pass from Boynton. He will give it to Steves. Steves back to Deronda. Deronda finding Boynton. He will cut inside. And the shot clock will run out and the ball will go the other way. Yeah, just looked at the Eagles. We're just passing it around looking for a good shot. And you got to give credit to the Hornets defense to kind of step up and, you know, bring some of the pressure, which forcing the, sock, the shot clock violation. As there's Reed, gets checked in the head, and the flag will fly. And pushed out of bounds from Paquette. As Boynton will take a seat as he gets a one-minute penalty for a flash. Slash, excuse me. Working the side, looking to cut the lead to 10 is the Hornets. Is picked up by English, who has the lone goal so far for the Hornets. The ball is picked up by Eisenman and launched into the stick of Jordan Steves. Steves will give it to Carter. Carter working around the corner. He'll give it to Steves. He gets it to Deronda. Deronda looking for an open man. We'll find Steves. He gets it behind the net to Carter. Back to Steves. He'll give it back up to Deronda. As we are even Boynton will come back onto the field. He gets the pass, working inside, and keeps his balance after being checked. There's Steves. Steves up top to Boynton. He will give it to Libby. as Libby will start the clear attempt for the Hornets. And that one's just launched into the other end. It will be picked up by Eisenman. Eisenman will give it to Tranka. Tranka finds Sturm. And there's Deronda. Up top, finds Ben Wynn. And there's Medor. Medor behind the net. Up top, and shooting and scoring is Colton Gillian for a second of the game. As the Eagles now take a 13 to one lead. Yeah, going back to that last play, Ryan, just once again, just continuing the onslaught from that first period. Found Gillian cutting across the middle, swipes it in for the Eagles, and looking to run away with the game here now. As the clock continuing to run, just five minutes have passed in the second quarter. Ball's picked up by Libby. Libby looking to work something here. He takes the shot and is wide and will stay in possession of the Hornets. 
Yeah, it looks like Libby was just kind of rushing his offense right there. Obviously, the Hornets have not been able to get where they wanted to so far in this game. Libby decided to just heave one and not the result he was looking for. As working the other way is the Eagles. There's Carter. Get it to Gillian. Gillian over the Steves. Steves will give it to McAllister. He'll get it inside to Walsh. Walsh will take the low shot. He'll roll out of bounds. It will stay with the Eagles. Danny Carter there to get it. Yeah, kind of a weird angle there for Walsh. When he got that pass, he was looked at, to be a little bit on the right side of the goal. Tried swiping it in, but just not the result he got there. As McCash will give it to Medor. Medor up to Gillian. Gillian will give it to Carter. Back to Gillian. Over to Steves. Back to Carter. Up top to Medor. He will give it to McAllister. McAllister with less than 20 seconds on the shot clock. And the shot from Colton Gillian for the hat trick is in. And the Hassan Eagles now leading 14 to 1. Yeah, once again, Gillen being in the right place at the right time. And looks like he just rifled it into the goal and just keeps this lead going for the Eagles. As a false start is called on the Eagles. Hornets looking to put some sort of dent into this Husson lead as their Smallman. Smallman working around the back of the net. He'll find English. English off the pick. And it is a foul. As the ball will go the other way. Yeah, once again, just something we've just grown accustomed to throughout this game. Just the Hornets are trying to find something, some offensive rhythm here, but just cannot seem to hold on to the ball for very long. Whether it's due to a turnover or a penalty, just nothing seems to be going their way so far. As the Hornets looking to go the other way now. There's Smallman. And there's now there's English. Closely guarded by Eisenman. He'll cut inside. He'll take the shot and he scores. Bodie English with the second of this afternoon. He cuts the lead down to 12. As he has both goals for Linden, as the Eagles still lead 14 to two. Yeah, going back to that last play, that's gonna feel good for English, scoring the lone two goals of the game. And with the dry spell that has been the Hornets offense, getting it, getting that goal in, maybe they'll fuel the fire a little bit and get some momentum for the Hornets going into, the, into this next game, this period, excuse me. As it's gonna be Libby in, in lower shell in the circle, it's won by Libby. Libby running into the zone. He's going to take the shot and in the top right corner, he shoots, he scores. Elias Libby with his first of the afternoon, his sixth goal of the season. And quickly cutting the lead down to 11 are the Hornets. Yeah, once again, just right on cue. It just seems like Libby just wasted no time off that faceoff, got right to where he wanted to go, and got that goal for the Hornets. And... They, here they come with some momentum. And now taking the shot is LeDuc. Face off, excuse me, not shot. LeDuc taking the face off. And it is won by the Eagles. And behind the net is Medor. Medor will get it to Gillian. And he will get it up to McAllister. McAllister inside. The bounce shot from Jordan Steves. 
finds the top part of the net as another goal from the Eagles puts Hassan up 15 to three. Yeah, going back to that last play, that must feel really good for Steve's here on senior day, just adding to the offensive clinic that has been the Eagles. That, that goal is good for his third of the season. It's gotta feel good for Steve's. There's a face off is one by Husson again. There's Gillian who give it to Boynton. The ninth goal scorer so far for this Eagles team. As up top is Gillian. It gives it to Boynton. To Medor. Give and go from Steves to Medor, back to Medor. Over to Alex Walsh, who cannot control it. Ball staying with the Eagles, settled by Boynton. Boynton, get it to Steves. Steves back to Boynton. Boynton. Get to Gillian. Gillian will get it to Boynton. Boynton up top. Trying to work around a defender. He will get it to Sturm. Sturm will shoot as the shot clock expires and is saved. And going the other way now is the Hornets. Trapani with a little trouble in front of the net. He will get it to Cushman. Yeah, got to give credit to the Hornets defense right there to hold the Eagles offense. It looked like Terrell got in the way of Sturm's shot. Kind of forced Sturm to take one out of the buzzer. And now here come the Hornets on offense. That's Flores. Working along the right side with it. He'll get it up to Reed. Reed defended by Boynton. Off the screen from from Flores, and he will take the shot. It is wide and will stay with the Hornets. Yeah, that's kind of been the name of the game so far for the Hornets. Just trying to. They've had good looks here throughout this game, but just have not been able to convert that shot a little bit wide. So we'll see what they can do here on this possession. As taken is Leduc, the bounce shot will roll out of bounds, staying with the Hornets again. Less than two minutes to go in the second quarter. Cutting inside was English in the save by Tranka. Fight right in front of the crease. As the shot clock will expire and will go to the Eagles. As there's... Just about 80 seconds left in this first half. Yeah, a bit of a scrum for the ball there in that last possession. Looks like that ball could have gone either way. Got flipped up a little bit. Luckily, fell in hand of the Eagles, and here they come on offense now. Steves on the left side of the net will get it up top to Boynton. Boynton, he's got Sturm to his right. And the pass up front to Sturm. The shot is wide. As seconds will count down, just 40 seconds left in this first half. Huss looked to add one more, the high pass. Sturm cannot handle it. It will find the stick of Boynton. Boynton up top to Walsh. Walsh gets a little space. We'll get it back to Boynton. Boynton. Get to see behind the net over to Medor. Medor behind the net, 15 seconds left on the clock. Up top to Boynton. Boynton, the pass to Sturm inside is no good as that will be turned over. And that is going to do it for the first half. Husson will lead Linden 15 to three. 
as this is Husson Men's Lacrosse on the Husson Eagles Sports Network. Five years ago, we started this journey of recycling. And with that same ingenuity, with that same innovation, and with that same entrepreneurship, we're approaching our next 45 years. We have an obligation to figure out how we can consume less, how we can recycle more, how we can create more sustainable products, and how we help our customers enable that. We owe it to the future generations to continue to do better and recycle better.
and back from the half is Ryan Barnes alongside Sam Miller as Laura Shell will win the faceoff and he will give it to Steves. Steves behind the net. There's Carter who will give it to Medor. Medor giving it to Boynton. Boynton back to Medor behind the net. There's Carter. Carter will get it to Walsh. Up top, there's Boynton. Medor giving up top to McAllister. McAllister over to Medor up top. He'll give it to Walsh. And the ground ball picked up by Steves. Steves all the way up to McAllister. And a shot from Steves. And behind the net, there's Boynton. Boynton coming around. Over to Medor. Shots blocked. Rebound is Boynton. And he will take the shot. As getting it is McAllister. We'll give it to Medor. Medor to Boynton. Boynton working around the defender. The pass to McAllister. McAllister. To Steve's up to Boynton. Boynton taking the shot. It is saved. The ground ball taken by McAllister. He will settle it. There's Medor. Medor behind the net. There is Boynton. Boynton. Up to Walsh. Alex Walsh. Give it to McAllister. McAllister to Medor. Medor. Over to Boynton. Boynton working more towards midfield will drop it for win. Win to McAllister. McAllister up to Walsh. Who can't get it, and that one's picked up by Libby. It just looked like the Eagles have kind of slowed things down a little bit. This, even though they've done that, they were able to control the offensive side for a while. And, but despite that, good defensive possession right there from the Hornets. And here come the Eagles once again. As McAllister will work it into the offensive zone, he will give it to Steves. Steves working behind the net is Medor. He can handle it. He will take it. Medor up to McAllister. McAllister up top. We'll give it to Medor behind the net is Wynn. Wynn to Steves. Steves back behind the net. Up to McAllister. McAllister to Walsh. The bounce pass to Steves. He will give it to Wynn back up top to McAllister. McAllister back to Wynn. Wynn over to Steves. Steves looking for the shot. He shoots. That was fired into the net. I couldn't tell where that was going. It just disappeared. Looks like it hit, hit the back of the net. As Steves will get his second of this afternoon to put Husson up 16-3. to three. Yeah, it's going back to that last play. It looked like Steves just, he got it right from the top. He just rifled it into the left corner of the, of the goal there, left bottom corner, and just, Adds on to this Eagles lead going into this game. Faceoffs won by Laura Show. He will give it to Steves. Steves is second of the afternoon, second on the season. As Deronda, he'll get it to Boynton. 
Boynton back behind the net to Madour. Madour up top. The bounce shot from Max Sturm. He scores. Max Sturm, his first of the season. As that one puts Husson up 17 to 3. Yeah, going back to that last play, Ryan, just once again, the Eagles just doing whatever they want on offense. This time, Max Sturm has a nice little bounce shot to the goal. First goal of the season, and the Eagles just continuing to pour it on throughout this game. As the faceoff is won by Husson. Is working it is Steve's now. He'll settle things down. He'll get it over to Madore. Madore back to Steve's up top to line. Line will give it to Deronda. And Gillian will give it away. And taking it is Libby. He'll get it up to Flores. Flores, the pass to English. English will take the shot. He scores. Bodie English with the hat trick to cut the Eagles' lead to 13. Yeah, on that last play, Ryan, looked like that was set up there from the defense of Libby. Finds English. English rushing up the court, wasting no time. Rivals it in for the Hornets and gives him the hat trick for the game. That's got to feel good for him considering the dry spell that has been the Hornets offense throughout this game. Three for English, the freshman out of Livermore, California. One for Elias Libby, also a freshman out of Rockport, Maine. And that faceoff's won by Linden. There's Webster. And taking it was Lucas. Lucas will get it up to Gillian. Gillian finds Steves. Steve's looking to settle as the offense comes out, getting it to win. Win. Defended by Libby. And to the exposition is Steve's. Steve's will get it out to Walsh. Walsh to Medor. Medor over to Gillian. Gillian over to Sturm. Sturm back to Gillian. To Medor. He cuts around. He shoots off the shins of McGeehan as the Eagles will keep possession. There's Steves getting it up top to Medor. The shot is wide and beating the defender is Gillian. And that was Steve's up to win, win to Walsh. Walsh back to win. And the pass in the direction of Sturm is tipped, picked up by Walsh, maintaining possession for the Eagles. Walsh will get it to Gillian. We'll get it back to Walsh. Taking a few poke checks. Still able to get the pass to Medora. Medora will get it to win. Win. To Steves. Steves get it to Sturm. He takes a shot. And it finds the stick of Libby, who's been all over the stat sheet. One goal, two shots, 13 ground balls, 8 for 20 of faceoffs, causing four turnovers. As there's Smallman. He'll get it up to Flores. Flores back to Smallman. Gets it up top to English. English loses the ball. That is picked up by Weed. And off to the races is Gus Eisenman. Getting to his left to Steves. Steves waiting for help. As he will get it to win. Win. Gets to his right to McAllister. 
McAllister working around to the right side, going behind the net. McAllister. Staying outside, gets behind the net to Steves. Steves up front. Here's Bedore, he will give it back to McAllister. McAllister up to win, he will give it to Walsh. Walsh back to Steves. Steves giving it to Wynn. Wynn fakes it, takes it behind the net over to McAllister. McAllister has some space. He'll give it to Wynn. Go back and forth with Steves. Walsh with it. He takes the shot. It's blocked by Aiden Trapani. It'll roll out of bounds. As Huston will maintain possession, less than four minutes to go in this third quarter. Ball turned over to the Hornets. Yeah, it looks like I thought Huston was getting that ball back, but nonetheless, here come the Hornets with another chance to kind of just halt this offensive clinic that, that the Eagles are putting on right now and try to respond with a flurry of goals of their own. McAllister basically climbed to McCann to force that turnover. And it was picked up by Libby. He's going the other way with it. Libby looking for an open man. Defended by Wynn. Loses the ball. It was... Picked up by Trenka, who got taken out of net. He's now playing defense in goal now is Odin Burke. As there's English, English spinning around th through two defenders. He went through four de defenders. Hit the bounce shot and will stay with the Hornets. Yeah, Ingles, the one of the only Hornets on this in this game so far who's been able to really get where he wants to. Of course, we've seen the hat trick of goals that he's scored today. So he's seemed a little bit confident right there to take on not one, not two, but four Husson defenders there. To try to get a goal, gives his team some momentum. McAllister giving Libby a hard time. Diving for it is McAllister is able to deflect it off a Hornet. And out of bounds, it will get, it will be Eagles ball as Wynn will give it to Medor. Yeah, that's the kind of hustle you can expect from Garner McAllister. That's what he's, that's been his bread and butter since he's come here to Husson. Has just made a huge impact for this team with his hustle plays. As Wynn is past the middle, is off target. Steves. Behind the net is Madour. Madour to Deronda. Deronda back to Madour. Madour centering pass is off target. That will roll out of bounds and will head the other way as just over a minute left in this third quarter. Yeah, a bit of a misfire there in the last possession for the Eagles. Looked like they were just trying to pass the ball around and just run down that shot clock, look for something good. But nonetheless, here come the Eagles on offense. Or sorry, the Hornets on offense. And the centering pass from Smallman intercepted by Burke and will go the other way. Here's Deronda. Deronda. Settling it. Pass from Bedore to Deronda. Deronda will get it to Gillian. Deronda. Out to Walsh, who has a little space. It looks like the Eagles are just buying their time right now, just letting the, just letting the clock run down. And the shot from Walsh, blocked by Trapani, and it's picked up by Libby. Libby gets it out to Flores as he crosses midfield with it. 
pass up to Smallman. Scooped up by Terrell. As the third quarter expires, Husson leads London 17 to four. We will be back with men's lacrosse on the Husson Eagles Sports Network. Choosing a school is really difficult, but I have never felt like I should have gone somewhere else. The thing about, I like about the school, the class sizes are smaller. Making friends is easier here because of the fact that you are such a tight-knit community. I was shooting around a basketball, that's how I met my first friend. You meet a lot of new people from different areas of the world. I feel like I've grown so much here. And there's so many amazing people that work here to learn from. I definitely made the right decision coming to Hassan. And we are back on the Hudson Eagle Sports Network as Hudson leads 17 to four over Linden and looking to drain the last 15 minutes of this game. There's Win. Get it up the line. Line. Steves will get it to Gillian. Around the net is Nagger's line. Line back to Medor. Medor to Walsh, who loses the ball. And it will go the other way. And he loses the ball. It will go to Hassan as there's win. Gets up top to line. Line back to win, win. Pass to Walsh off target. Picked up by Steves. Steves up top the line. Line to Steves, behind the net is Medor. Gillian will get it to Walsh. And the Hornets will come away with that one. Intercepted by Gillian. Given to Walsh. Walsh with two defenders on him. Loses the ball. It rolls out of bounds and will go to the direction of the Hornets. Yeah, it just seems like once again, Hassan has just really been able to control the pace of the game. We saw there was a couple times where the Hornets got the ball and Hudson was able to intercept it, but here come the Hornets now. Let's see what they can do to sort of close out what has been a rough game for them so far. As the behemoth of a shot from Libby is very high. And looks like his stick is broken. There's Flores, who get to Libby. And diving 
for the shot and into the crease was Libby. As we are going to have a penalty here, it's going to be a 30 second holding call on Sean Line. Coming in for the Eagles now, we've got number 17, Max Sturm, and number 21, Quinn Lucas, replacing Line in the penalty box, as well as, I believe it was. It was Ben Huynh as well. As the Hornets looking to start something here. The shot from English is saved. So this is going to be back to the Eagles on that one. Got to give credit to Odin Burke. Burke in, their, in the Eagles' last game against MCLA. In the 15-10 win, he had 16 saves on the game, so he's definitely a good, good option for goalie here for the Eagles. As the pass from Burke it is off the stick of Eisenman, it will go the other way to the Hornets as just over 10 minutes remain in this game. And the shot from Smallman is saved as the Eagles will start the clear attempt. The pass, the ball falls out of the stick of Boynton. And he will take it across midfield. Up to Sturm. Sturm working into the middle. Loses the ball. And it will be Libby coming down the field. Up to English. English taking the shot, saved by Burke. And Burke's pass to Boynton. Somehow finds the stick of Boynton as Flores was attacking right there. Eagles working in their offensive zone. Boynton up top to McAllister. Over to Sturm. Sturm looking for an open teammate. He finds Steves. Steves to Boynton. Boynton over to McAllister. Up top is Medor. And the pass in the direction of Steves is deflected into the stick of Steves. Boynton now gets it up top. Bounces into the stick of McAllister. McAllister to Sturm. Over to Boynton. Behind the net is Steves. Steves back to Boynton. Back up top to McAllister. With only two goals so far in this game, which is pretty good for any other player. For McAllister, though, seems kind of low. And the shot from Gillian is in as... That is his fourth goal of this contest. And the Eagles go up 18 to four. Yeah, going back to that last play, Ryan, gotta feel really good for Gillian coming into this game with only three goals in the season. You can add four more to that total. He has on 14 shots, he's a shot percentage on the goal of 71%. So he's definitely very efficient around the goal post there. Face off now. Eight minutes left in this game. Libby, past the Smallman, is taken by Weed. Weed will give it to Eisenman, who's running down, and will take the shot. He shoots, he scores. Gus Eisenman with his first goal of this game. As yet another goal scorer joins. This barrage of goals as Hassan now goes up 19 to four with less than seven and a half minutes left.
Yeah, let's go back to that last play real quick. We saw Eisenman just grab the ball and gallop down the field to just score for this team. He just gets right to where he wants to go, rifles it in, and the Eagles just pouring it on as this game continues. It's the Hornets now. Excuse me, the Eagles. That was win over to Steves. Steves up to Gabe Cherry, who is acting as an LSM here. Long stick midfielder, as we usually see Cherry. In the defensive zone, the shot from Walsh is wide, rebounded by Steves. Steves, the shot from Gillian, his fifth of the game as the Eagles now lead 20-4. to four. Going back to that last play, Colton Gillian, have yourself a day. Just gets the ball right near the goal. And as he just loops around, gets that pass and just scoops it right underneath the legs of McGeehan. And he is having himself a fantastic afternoon. As now only six minutes remain in this game. Again, we are going with a running clock. As the faceoff's won by Laura Shell, Steves back to Sturm. Sturm will get it to Cherry, who mishandles the pass. It is picked up by Flores. And now picking it up is Trapani. And a continuous fight for the ball. Eventually won by Gillian. Get it to Boynton. Once again, the seems like the Hornets just cannot seem to control the ball going up the field. Just whenever they have an opportunity to bring the ball to their side, the Eagles just shut it down immediately. As a turnover on Hassan, we'll give it to Linden. Here's Flores coming up. His pass is good. Gabe Cherry forcing the turnover. as they will turn it right back over to Husson. Here's Cherry. Cherry to Steve. Steve's up to win. Win to Steve's. Steve's up top to Boynton. Boynton finds Cherry who turns, shoots, and scores. Gabe Cherry joins the goal parade. as the Eagles now lead 21 to four. Here we are going back to that last play Barnes is that, as you said, Gabe Cherry just decides to join in on the fun, finds it right across the middle, snipes it from the middle of the field and the Eagles are just pouring it on. And this is definitely Definitely a game you want to have going into the playoffs as that faceoff is won by Laura Show. He will give it to Steve. Steve's to win. Win looking for an open teammate. And the inside pass to Laura Show is off target as the Hornets will go the other way. And now the pass is intercepted. And starting the other way now, here is Steve. So he'll give it to McAllister. McAllister to Sturm, who buries it off the centering pass for his second of the game. That's 22 to four. The Eagles lead with just less than three minutes and counting to go. Yeah, going back to that last play, Max Sturm once again just joining in on the fun here for this clinic. Just gets the ball cutting across the middle, rifles it in for the Eagles. And this is definitely a game for the Eagles, like you said, Ryan, that they want to have a lot of momentum going into the playoffs. But if you're the Hornets, definitely one you'd like to forget as your playoff hopes kind of diminish after a game like this. 13 goal scores for the Eagles.
as we have a timeout on the field. We will take it too. Just over two minutes left to go in this game. This is Huston Lacrosse on the Huston Eagles Sports Network. If you want a place where you can be seen as an individual and know what you're doing and have a career to look forward to, this is your place. We are back here on the Huston Eagle Sports Network. Laura Shell and Libby on the faceoff. It is won by Libby, who works himself into the corner. The pass up to English. English working in. He stops, turns, goes through a few defenders, and works around the net. And a shot from Smallman is no good. Working around the net. And it was a goal from English as it was a behind the back shot. Looked like Burke was trying to bat that out of there, but it looks like it had crossed the line before Burke had touched it. As that will make it 22 to five with just over a minute left. Yeah, real quick, going back to that last play, just it looked like when he got it into the goal there, just Burke, no, no one knew if the goal, if like the goal counted, so Burke decided to tap it out, but the officials called it, said it was a goal, and that gives English, I believe, four or five goals in the game now. Under a minute to go, 50 seconds. It is Steves up top to Gillian Gillian. Work behind the net. There's Boynton. As Walsh is unable to poke it into the net. Again. Working. Gillian steals it around midfield. Who gives it to McAllister. And now at this point, the Eagles can just run the clock down. Here's Walsh. He wants in on the scoring parade. His shot is no good. As five seconds remain. And that is going to do it. Husson with a 22 to 5 win over Linden on Senior Day. 13 goal scorers in this game. It just, just a true dominating effort, Sam. Yeah, absolutely. From the very get-go, the Eagles were able to get what they wanted on the offensive side. They controlled the pace of the game, allowed Linden zero time to just get back on and get into their game plan. Just an all-around fantastic performance for the Eagles as we head into the playoffs. Just going over the goal scores again. Four from Bodie English, one from Elias Libby for the Hornets. And for the Eagles, five goals from Gillian. Two goals each from Danny Carter, Gunnar McAllister, Jordan Steves, Max Sturm, and Dan Weed. And then one goal from Bryce Duranda, Gabe Cherry, Gus Eisenman, Ben Wynn, Sean Line, Griffin Medore, and Quinn Lucas. From Boucher Field, this was Huston Eagles Men's Lacrosse on the Huston Eagles Sports Network. From Sam Miller, I'm Ryan Barnes. We'll see you next time.